let's take a closer look at the Rage system within Tekken 7. So Rage Arts and Rage Drives are new mechanics in the Tekken franchise. And looking at the Rage Art that you see on the screen, it is akin to super moves that you see in other fighting games. So once you get to a certain level of life on your life bar, once you're about 25%, your life bar will start glowing red and it'll give you access to these ultra powerful moves. They work very much like a power crush where they can absorb attacks, but instead of just absorbing mids and highs, they'll absorb every single attack. One thing to keep in mind though is that you cannot abuse these. They are not safe. Uh, for most of the cast, they're very unsafe and you can get launched and punished for it. There are some exceptions to this rule, of course. And another thing you need to reconsider is when using them, especially within combos, they scale a lot. So you'll notice here about 40% of the life gone, but once you have less life, you deal more damage using the Rage Art. So one thing to consider, if you're able to land a clean or raw Rage Art, you're able to do way more damage. And looking here, you do about 50% damage with the sliver of life left. Now, looking at the Rage Drive, there are a number of ways to take a look at it. It's much more tactical. It gives you access to combos that you might not normally have unless you have Rage Equipped. One of the great things about them is it gives you access to combos that you're not able to do normally and they can really turn the tide in your favor if you know you're going to land the hit. They often put you in advantageous situations as well, so if you even have it blocked, sometimes you'll have an access to a 50-50 mix-up that can overwhelm your opponent. Now just looking at the different aspects of Rage, again, it gives you access to the Rage Art, which you just saw, the Rage Drive, but for some characters it gives you other options like Kazuya's Devil Form and his Human Form. Now the key to victory here is knowing what your opponent's going to be doing and reacting to that. So for this, for example here, the one two into the low that Law is going to be doing, one option that you have is you can block it and punish it with the rage drive and a huge combo that can end your opponent. If you're not confident in doing such a big combo, you can always just opt for going for the rage art, which will guarantee victory. Now these are just a few of the things that we'll be going over in the coming weeks on Tekken.com, so make sure you guys stay tuned.